Good evening and welcome to Delta State as the Saints may get ready to host their final regular season game of the season. But it might not be their last. More on that in a moment. Today, Delta State faces one of its oldest rivals. Mississippi College comes back into town to renew the Heritage Bell rivalry. A win today, though, would mean a share of the GSE crown and a trip to the Division II playoffs. So a lot at stake here for the Statesmen. They've done a great job of stepping up all season long. Let's see if they can do it one more time in the regular season finale. Oh, it's awesome. I think it's great for both schools. I mean, it's a great atmosphere, a lot of people here, a lot of excitement. Uh, and I thought it was just a, a great evening for football. Okay, a round of applause. Going up to it, I mean, we didn't. I haven't played Mississippi College since I've been here, so I mean, we didn't really think of much of a rivalry game. But definitely stepping on the field, I mean, they had a lot of fans in the stands, and and we did too. And it being homecoming, you know, and the new jerseys, and I, I guess you know, all that combined just kind of gave us that, you know, that rivalry feel. It was great to play in the game, though. Man, it's it, it's what makes it special. The the community here, the people that are back there in that picnic area in the stands every game, you know, that they're, they're what makes it special. There's they are what drives this program. This is why we have this nice field, nice helmets, new pants, all that kind of stuff is because of them. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about them. It, it's, it's awesome to have, have a community, you know, that, that's behind you like they are, have people behind you like they are here. And that's what makes us special. The difference in the running game had a lot to do with Coach Williams and Coach Ward put more emphasis on us being successful running the ball and producing. And not just that, but the line, the line pushing us and telling us, man, we're out there, we're blocking, we're, we're opening holes for y'all, take advantage of it. So that, that's just team effort, team effort with the coaching staff and with the players. They kind of ran in the first first half. They kind of ran it down the throat a little bit, but uh, we came up huge down there on the goal line and uh, on fourth down, and we came up with some big third down stops. And I mean, we harp on uh, you know making those making those big stops no matter what when our back's against the wall. You know, we want to be in those situations. So it was just I mean it's it's good to get those stops. You know? We didn't execute like we needed to, but the the will was there, the fight was there, which we ne never doubt our guys on, on our ability to come out and play hard. Right? We hadn't played a game this year. We hadn't played 110%. Uh, you know, we didn't execute like we wanted to. We started off slow and everything, but I think uh, our will to win kind of overtook and, you know, pushed us through. And then Carry for the five yard line, but that is the end of our first half. 
Delta State Athletics would like to proud of our guys. They, they, they stuck with it. We didn't flinch at halftime again, just kept playing. And, uh, you know, we turned the ball over twice. Defense had our back, and uh, we just keep going. from last year you know last year it was kind of the offense carrying the defense and this year I mean you seen it today I mean we weren't carrying the offense but we uh we were getting them the ball back they turned it over and and we just you know got it right back for them at three and outs and those two uh big fourth down stops and I mean we held them to three points which I'm mad they scored three points to tell you the truth but uh it's huge man Of teams when they when they look at these big plays down the field they're like you know oh, maybe we'll hit this well we got confidence that we're going to hit it when we when we you know call these home run throws we know that there's a there's probably a bigger chance of us hitting them than not so uh kind of we just take it in as just another play man i mean we know that we need the big play and when we need to make it and we usually make it what about it man? We didn't know much about it going in, but I mean, obviously it's a rivalry game for a reason because I mean, it was it was a close game, a hard fought game, and we had to earn everything offensive, offensively and defensively. Great way to come in and a uh, great way to go out. So, I mean, hopefully we'll just keep this momentum going in the playoffs. And I mean, uh, winning the conference is great, but we kind of had bigger goals at the begin beginning of the season and uh, they're, st they're right there for us. So we're trying to obtain those goals. Oh, we knew it was staying. We had the trophy from back in 90-something. We knew it was staying, and I don't plan on losing anytime soon. Just being honest, I'm just relieved. Uh, Mississippi College, tip your hats off to them. They came here and played hard. Knew they would. Played extremely hard. Uh, we've got to do a better job taking care of the ball, but I, I'm, I'm proud. I told my I promised my family I was going to enjoy tonight, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. But uh, it's going to be special. When I sit back and think about it, it's, it's pretty special. It means a lot to me because I've never been a champion in any, any sport. And I've been playing football for a long time. So to be able to win a conference championship in college, man, it's real big for me. And I know it's big for the whole team and the coaching staff because especially for Coach Cooley, it's his first conference championship. And it's just on his second year coaching. So I know he, Coach Cooley and the whole coach staff, I know they, they're, real, they're real just happy. <laughs> it's huge, man. I mean, it's like. We got done with this game. We won. A, we won the Heritage Bell. We won the Gulf South. All that, but it, everybody's looking around like, oh, what's next?" You know, it's not this big euphoric moment like you thought, where it's just like the grand finale. Because we know it's not. We're lo we're already looking forward to what's next. We're looking forward to the for for whenever we play our first uh, uh, playoff game, whether we get the bye or not. We're looking forward to it. We're ready for what's next. It's gonna be great for our community. Uh, they're used to 
Del Cleveland, Mississippi, and Del State used to be in the postseason, and we're back in the postseason, and hopefully we'll be where we need to be and see what happens. Think of that, you know, in pregame warm-ups, I think of that coming out after halftime, you know, I mean, there's not many left promise. You know, after this, that, that was my last promise game, and, I mean, I got this next second round of the playoffs, that's promise, but, you know, every, I mean, it could be my last game, you know, and I, I definitely take that into consideration. So it's big time, you know, being able to put up some good stats and make some plays and hearing the man from Waveland over the intercom a few more times. That took nearly a 20 year break. Delta State and Mississippi College wasted little time to make the Heritage Bell the rivalry it once was. Now, these two teams battled it out in the first half with Delta State holding a narrow 10 3 lead heading into the break. Now, out of the break, Delta State rolled up a 17 0 run keyed by a large rushing attack. Eddie McCatney totaled 108 yards rushing on the day. Dewan Belair chipped in 55 and a touchdown. Tyler Sullivan also tossed two touchdowns in the win. Defensively, the Statesmen were keyed by a big effort out of senior linebacker Rory Island. Island totaled 15 tackles and two sacks. Now the Statesmen will wait to find out their destination for the Division II playoffs. That will be determined on Sunday at the selection show here at Parker McCool Field.